Hello. So, um, this is a very short video to try and um, answer a question that I seem to get asked quite a lot <laughs> about OpenRGB. Um, whenever I build a system for someone, or whether I'm tweaking someone's system, I'll tend to remove stuff like Armoury Crate or Corsair IQ or anything like that and try OpenRGB first in the, in the optimistic hope that it'll work. And on this particular machine, it's worked quite a treat. Now, this one's got a Cooler Master RGB all-in-one. It's got an Asus motherboard and it's got HyperX, so Kingston HyperX RAM. And the case has also got some LEDs on it as well. And obviously in the video, you can see, you know, in the, in the camera view, you can see all the different um, lights that are there. And that what they are is they're quite a nice single color. And that's what I get asked. How do you get a single color? And more importantly, once you've got that single color, how do you change it to the one that you want? Um, okay, so first thing to do is let's look at OpenRGB. So I'll just open it up and you can see under information, it's using, well, I'm using uh, version 0.91. This is the experimental version, the development version. Don't use the final version because that tends not to spot things, but the experimental version is the one to install. There's also under settings, you can install a plugin and you can go to the plugins page on the OpenRGB website and you want the effects plugin. And once you've got the effects plugin installed, you're going to want to look for the sequence effect. So if I look under effects and then go to advanced, you can see there's sequence there. So once you've installed the plugin, go to effects, advanced, sequence, and then it will appear there. And what you can do is adjust how many colors that you want to see and you can sequence them okay but what if you just choose one color so i've chosen the green here one color and obviously because the sequence is only made of one color it only shows one color okay so i can click that green and i can choose any color i like let's choose a nice blue so there's the blue i'll click okay and what you can do is uh, check the video feed for the camera and you can see that everything is now blue now there are some subtle shading differences between the different LEDs, but they are effectively the same color. You'll notice that some colors actually work better than others at being the same. So if I choose that like bright red, that, that looks more the same, doesn't it? Because the bright red is bright red. So you can choose the color that you want. Um, a lot of people go for the pure white color, so I'll just choose white and I'll do OK. And you can see again, they're all, you know, they're all choosing white. Um, so that's how you can get a single color using OpenRGB really quickly. It's much faster than fiddling around with the different devices in the device tab, because that doesn't really quite work so once you've got that effect there what you do is you get the pattern you save the pattern give it a name and then for this here you do effects and you can see there's a profile tab you do save profile and when you save it you can see there it says load profile at startup save effect state so just choose the profile or give it a name, save it and make sure that low profile at startup is ticked and then click save and then away you go. So um, that's hopefully that's answered that question. The next thing is uh, uh, something that often confuses people with OpenRGB. Um, if that's what you wanted to see, then just you can stop watching now. That's fine. Thanks for watching, liking and subscribing, etc, etc. Um, but this is another interesting thing here. If I now restart the computer, Keep an eye on the um, keep it on the lights because when it first starts up, the lights will be on the default settings, and that is not on uh, that, that's on an individual device basis. So what the RAM will tend to do is it will stay with whatever color it was, which in this case is white, and you can see they've stayed white. But everything else goes to it defaults, and that's usually Rainbow Unicorn Explosion. So you might think, oh, it hasn't worked. But Windows is still loading and everything's on rainbow. because so that's the default. Now we've got the desktop. What I've got to do is I've got to sign in now. So I'll just sign in with the, with the pin. 
like that. And it's still, everything's still a bit rainbow, isn't it? Okay, now OpenRGB has loaded and it's now loaded the profile and now everything's white. Get it? So it's not until the desktop is loaded and OpenRGB is loaded and then the default profile is loaded into that that the LEDs kick in. So don't be, yeah, don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't think it's worked because this is where you realize that it has right so if you've got any questions about this just stick them in the comments um liking and subscribing is appreciated and um as always thanks for watching